Uh, we have two girls, Britton and Landry. And then we found out we were expecting Barrett. We were really excited. We went in for 20 week ultrasound and they seen some issues with like his diaphragm. I'm a nurse and immediately I knew exactly what that meant. CDH stands for congenital diaphragmatic hernia. It is a birth defect which is as common as cystic fibrosis. There is a hole in the muscle that separates the abdominal cavity from the chest cavity that allows things that belong in the belly to rise up and, and sit in the chest during, the, during development. About 60% of uh, patients with congenital diaphragmatic hernia are diagnosed before they are born by an ultrasound. And if primary obstetrician is concerned about the possibility of congenital diaphragmatic hernia in a fetus, the family gets referred to the fetal care center. And our fetal care center is able to offer a full range of fetal intervention, whether that means following a family and, and working with them through birth, or in some cases, even doing procedures before birth, if that's, if that's necessary. We do our best to prepare every, each and every family to sort of anticipate what is going to happen at each and every stage. We knew that we would deliver at Barnes and then um, in the Women and Infant Center. The new Women and Infant Center here at Barnes is a brand new tower that encompasses labor and delivery and is connected by a sky bridge to our NICU. It is far, far safer not to have to transport these babies long distances because they can be very unstable around the time of delivery. We delivered a normal vaginal delivery and um, the entire fetal care center team that was on that night was there, um, as well as the NICU team. And as soon as the baby was born, Amanda got to hold him for a couple seconds, and immediately they went across over into the NICU. With any child with CDH, you always have to be ready for the curveballs, um, and that's why it's so important to be at a center like uh, St. Louis Children's Hospital, where we're used to seeing this. They did surgery when he was three days old. We didn't know at the time, but they were dealing with a lot of issues with him during surgery. They were really reassuring to us, which, which was good because our, we were pretty anxious. I expect Barrett to do totally, completely fine. He's already awesome and he should continue to be awesome. Barrett was in the NICU for 27 days. So when he came home, um, he came home on an NG tube and then we did lots and lots of therapy. The clinic will continue to work with their local pediatrician to keep an eye on his growth and development. My hope for Barrett is just that he grows up a normal baby, just is able to do things that the other kids can do and, and he doesn't let anything hold him back and he knows that we prayed for him so much and that he's so loved. You know, in our eyes, he's perfect. We couldn't be any more blessed.